Hey, what's up everybody? I'm up on my roof here. I'm working on my G5 RV, which is somewhere behind me. G5 RV is like a dipole with a ladder feed line, which makes it sort of resonant on multiple bands. So my primary problem is that the SWR is just way too high. I thought it was too high. I called the company uh, Radio Waves, a link in the description, and they said, yeah, the SWR is just way too high. Uh, here, try some things. So I'm moving the legs of the dipole. Uh, I'm gonna paint the coils. Where is the coil? Right there, I think, is the coil. Paint that to add a little bit of insulation. Uh, see what I can do, and then I'll throw it on the SWR meter and see if that improves things or not. Um, when I get back inside, I'll, I'll kind of do a little description of the G5 RV and why. It's kind of a it's kind of a basket of problems antenna. But if you can get it tuned up right and you can get it placed in the right location, they can work okay. I've actually made some pretty cool contacts with mine. Um, but, you know, it take work. So a couple things. Here's the center point. This is where the ladder line comes into the connectors. They've got some kind of, I don't know, these look like coax pieces or something like that. Uh, anyway, they got the legs off. Uh, one of the things they recommend adding was a bit of line to get it away from the, the standoff. Um, one of the key things to remember with the G5 RV is that it is highly susceptible to any kind of interference from metal. That'll actually affect its resonance. So getting it pulled away from the house was something I was already doing, but this just gets it pulled away further, uh, this cord. Also, I've got another guy line, and this is our center guy line. So uh, pretty much done. Let's put it back up there and see see what the SWR is. All right, so we've trapped, painted the traps, standoffs in another trap. I've zip tied off the ladder line, which goes down to the feed point. Whew. All right, let's get off the roof here. Let's go check it out on the analyzer. All right, so it's a couple hours later. I'm back in the shop. That noise you can hear in the background is FT8. We're squealing. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Okay, so um, I was Hawaii. I just got Cuba earlier, and now I'm waiting for them to come back. If a little red uh, dash pops up, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a contact on. Let's see, thirty meters is off the hook right now. Oh yeah, we got it. We just got Hawaii. Excellent. So let's talk about antenna manipulations and messing around. I have a G5 RV. The G5 RV is basically a dipole, either horizontal or inverted V dipole, however you want to assemble it, with a um, balanced feed line, in this case a ladder line. It's called twin lead. It's two wires that are separated by a little plastic piece in the middle. Slight little bit of insulation on both the wires, but the idea being is that when you're using a feed line like that, that whole piece is active. It's uh, balanced, it is resonant, it is going to be affected by things that are in and around its space. Metal, flashing, things that could affect um, any kind of antenna is going to affect a G5 RV, particularly that vertical piece, right? And you want to keep it, try and get it vertical, and you kind of want to pull it away from metal if you can, but not pull it away too far, because then you're going to change its resonance again. And you want to feed it with good coax, the guy who made it said you should feed it with uh, 75 feet. That's what I have on right now. Um, regardless though, because it's kind of not resonant on any one frequency, you can use a tuner and it can work across multiple bands. So it'll go all the way down to six meters and all the way up to 80 meters as mine's cut and tuned right now. So for that, I use the uh, MFJ uh, 993B automatic tuner. It has the interface for my 7300 so I can just start using it and it'll realize what's going on and it'll try to find a 1 to 1.5 to 1 match. That's what its goal is. And it's working great. Uh, I moved the dipole off the, the I have an inverted V set up and I had the flashing, the, the leg of the antenna was following the roof line where the aluminum flashing is. I believe it's aluminum. Anyway, I ended up moving that a bit and adjusting it so that it wasn't directly in line parallel with the flashing. And that seemed to help a lot. I painted the insulators and I also moved the center post or the, the part where the ladder line meets the peak of the inverted V and where the attachment point is to the larger mast. Put a bit of a, um, 
a relief to that uh, send off or standoff to that and I was able to kind of pull it down to what I'm using which is a four to one ballon and that was recommended by the antenna waves company when I called them links in the description if you want to go check them out the quality and the build of the antenna is fine I have a little bit of rusting on the trap the nuts for the trap uh, but no big deal I sprayed that all down with black spray paint today and that was also supposed to help with insulation so far um, things are good 30 meters and 20 meters was pretty good but I was able to make contacts on FT8 to Cuba and to Hawaii the real question will be of course how I do on single sideband but that alone is much better than I have been able to do recently so I'm very happy again uh, thanks for radio waves helping me out there and thanks as always to MFJ for all the insight and stuff they send out for me to take a look at uh, this tuner being one of them it's a very cool tuner and look forward to a review on that soon they make a tuner for just about every one of the major companies and I'm very impressed by it along with the power supplies so power along with the power supply I use as well very good power supply. Very good products between these two. So anyway, okay, that'll do it. Anyway, if you're not subscribed, please do that and click the little dingling bell next to it so it notifies you when I go live on my Friday live streams, for example. We've got the Ham Radio Crash Course on Facebook. I myself, Hosh Nasi on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then you've got the Patreon doing a dollar a month, gets you my newsletter, and then there's all kinds of perks after that. So go check that out too. Okay, any questions, thoughts on uh, your funds with playing around with antenna, G5 or V or not? It seems like once you start getting into HF, you're going to be spending a lot more time tweaking and playing with antennas, thinking about antennas. So tell me your thoughts below, and I'll happily uh, talk to you and do that whole thing. All right? All right. Take it easy. See ya.